a little progress update on this whole tranny program. Figured uh, some people would want to know. So this is an M50 R M50 D R2 F150 transmission out of an 89 F150. Uh, with a, it's mated to a 1976 Ford. Oh, got sorry, trying not to drop my phone. Uh, NP205 transfer case. So what you gotta do to get one of these to fit is you take that tail housing off, which is just the bolt around it. Comes out. There's a seal in the middle. Don't mess that seal up. Take that off, and then you got a clearance around the inside of the transfer case or the transmission tail housing, and then there's bolts. I should have took videos and pictures, but I didn't. I was uh, I was getting excited. You got to change those. They're like uh, Allen bolts. You got to change those with some flatter, like small bolt heads, headed bolts. So that way it'll clear. And then you have to clearance the back tail housing. Jesus Christ, somebody keeps messaging me. Uh, to get that shift fork in there. And then clearance it right there. Um, this one will be twin sticked. I took that stick out, did the grinding mod on it. It was uh, it was fairly easy actually. And then now we have front high, front low, rear high, rear low, four high, four low. So that's about ready to go in. I'm gonna build a plate coming off this over to the driver's side frame rail. And then I'm gonna build a plate coming off the inspection housing on the bottom side going to the other side just to help hold the weight of this transfer case because they are heavy. And then I've seen a lot of discussion online about heater boxes. When I got this truck, this one was cut off. So in order to get a heater in here, we, the AC box won't work. So if you're gonna have AC, you gotta delete all that. But in order to get the V8 in, a little tip to clearance the heater box, I just heated the heater box up with a torch, took an oil filter, pushed the oil filter in, and just kept doing that till I had a nice oval push in it looks nice, er, then cutting it up and taping it together and whatnot. So that's how you clearance it for the valve cover. I do have a, I think it's a three or four inch body lift on this truck. So that might help with the clearancing. I don't know how much you would have to do or if there's another mod to do it in order to fit it without a body lift. I know, uh, oh, I can't remember his channel name. I'll put a dude's channel name down in the description of He's got videos on how to modify it otherwise. We did, we put a fuel pressure gauge on it just to be safe. Regulator, that's a strainer, not a filter. So you can take that apart and there's a little strainer inside there. And then there's a filter in there. And then I got two filters on the frame. I know the speedometer is a hack job. Um, I cut a piece of tin, riveted in, and then I didn't get it in there straight. And then I cut my finger and a whole mess so but it's got a speedometer in it it's a gps speedometer so i'll just wire it and that's the nice thing about a gps speedometer. they're cheap on ebay uh, i think it was like 120 bucks but the reason i want gps because it doesn't matter what size tires i go with the speedometer will always be correct try not to cover the microphone and then i just got an oil pressure and water temp gauge there um the battery gauge will go here and then I got the tack on order. It's actually in my mailbox, but since it's Sunday, I can't go get it. It's at the post office. So the tack and stuff will go in tomorrow. There's my ignition switch box. I really don't like that there. I think I'm gonna relocate it down here, but we'll see once we get the shifter and stuff in how much clearance I have. And then I'll get that soundproof matting and stuff to put down here. You can see one of the headers. So far, as far as headers go, um, Advanced Adapters sells a Ford Ranger V8 swap header, but it looks like a cast header, cast iron. Um, I'm got, I have, uh, oh God, what are they? Hang on. With a body lift, we can run these Headman, Headman headers. I'm gonna exhaust wrap these and try and keep the heat in the pipe and not in the motor. They are kind of a pain in the ass to fit. Um, you don't have a lot of clearance for the bolt heads. So they kind of got to go in all together, but those are the headers we're using with the body lift. Um, I'm not sure what header you got to get or what manifold to use without a body lift. Other than that, I just got piddly stuff like body mounts need bolted. Um, I just got done welding 
the tranny cross member. It's the F-150 cross member. It was cut down and then they built two plates, welded those on and they hook into the, I don't know what you call these, radius rods or whatever. And then as far as the transmission to clutch goes, using the stock Ford Ranger uh, master cylinder and stuff, but I couldn't figure out how to get it off the tranny. I know they got the little plastic things on the Ford Ranger you push in and the pop locks and I couldn't get it to come out. So I cut the hose. And then once I got it out, I found out the Ford Ranger or the Ford F-350 has got that little thing that goes in the side. So I got a new cl uh, clutch hose coming. It's in the mailbox too. And then uh, I'm trying to decide if I wanna build my own twin sticks or just order the $150 kit. So we'll get to that point. Now I gotta switch out the radiator. I don't think this is gonna be sufficient to support a V8, so. We'll tackle that next. Well, not next, after we get the tranny in. And then once the tranny goes in, we get her back up and running. We'll take it in and we'll get drive lines made. And then hopefully we got a driver. Just piddly stuff, working on one day at a time. It's cold, it's 20 degrees out. I can see the ice on the pickup window and the four wheeler. But I need to get a heater going. There's my heater. I'm working on it. Try not to use this side of the camera because uh, it's cracked and it makes the lighting all fucked up. So, anyways, that's where we're at. We'll just keep plugging along and I'll keep keep doing update videos. Um, by myself, I use my phone. It's too hard to film. I haven't quite figured out how to film and do the work myself because I don't have a tripod that fits my phone. I guess I could order one, but I've been lazy and I've been spending my money on this thing, among other things. So, um, if there's anything else you guys want to know, like to see, hit me up and I'll answer whatever questions you got. And we'll just keep plugging away. There'll be more videos coming along as we get closer. Um, this bigger stuff, like clearance in that transmission to transfer case took a lot of my attention. I just sat down with calipers and... Uh, I started with an air power die grinder, and then I moved into a uh, Dremel tool for the final clearancing. It was so I got that thing within thousands. It was a real pain, but it's in, it's there, it's clocked. So, all right, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to keep following this along.